We're out here tonight in Malibu in the middle of the forest shooting a uh, short, some scenes for a short film we're doing that Sal is directing. She'll tell you about it. My name's Sal Massimini and I'm directing the short we've got. Uh, we're shooting it tonight. The, uh, it's called The Places in Between, written by David Paul Francis. It's essentially about two lost souls who find each other. We've got a couple of different setups that we're going to be doing, from the inside of a car to on the road in front of the car. So we'll be talking about some of the, the gear that we use. We had two Red Dragon cameras, um, one cameraman operator and one assistant. The best thing we thought we could do would be to use lightweight, portable lights, LED lights, that actually matched with the dragon. Mm. What saved us out there were these um, lights. They're called Area 48 lights. And I've shot a lot of movies, a lot of television, and um, I consider these lights, quite honestly, to be the best LED light made. They'll run forever. Um, they take no power. We lit everything with a block V-lock battery. These lights did it for us. We'd dial them down um, to like what, what exposure we felt would be really good. My big thing about LED lighting, of course, is the green magenta of the CRI. And these lights are probably the, the highest of all that I've worked with. And I have worked with all of them. The scene is behind the girl looking you know, at the car with the gentleman coming out towards her. So I had to simulate what would be lighting that scene. The headlights would be lighting that scene because there's no other lights in the, in the middle of the forest. And suddenly we were confronted with the fact that this car we were using had LED lights on it, which were much, much too bright. So we figured that out by putting tape on. And I used an Area 48 light to the side, off to the left of the frame, and just dialed it in using the dimmer they have on the back and just made it look like that was the headlights lighting the girl. And action! No! Leave her on! Are you all right? A little bit blocked. Can I help you? He's got a banana mark. You're bleeding. One of the scenes we're shooting tonight involves a gentleman in a car. He's, gonna, he's thinking about suicide. And so we had to light him in a way that um, the light was small and visible and looked like it was coming from the dashboard. So I used one of these little pipe lights. They're made by the Area 48 people. And um, I'm going to light Sal now. How does she look? <laughs> she looks pretty good to me. But these things were amazing. You just put them into a uh, cigarette lighter and just tape them up and you can just dial them in. And uh, they work terrifically with the sensor, uh, the dragon sensor, the red camera. Good matchup. Yeah, I loved how versatile they were. It's like if we wanted to just adjust the light over here, change the camera position, then it was just so quick and easy to make changes on the fly. And even with the adjusting the intensity and everything, it was for our small, to say the very least, crew, they were awesome. What's so great about using Area 48 light is they're small, they're portable, put out a lot of light, and totally versatile. Cameras are getting smaller. It's very important cinematographers, directors, producers learn about these tools because they are the future. <laughs>